Good day, class. Welcome to our mathematics class. I am Sir Eli, and I will be your mathematics teacher. Before we start, let's have an interfaith prayer. Prayer leader, please lead the prayer. Okay, so thank you, prayer leader. Now, secretary, please don't forget to check the attendance. All right, before we start with our discussion, Let's have a quick recap. So what did we discuss last meeting? Okay, yes, Martian? Okay, very good. So last meeting, we are done defining what permutation is and we also illustrate some of its examples, right? Okay, so now, so when we define permutation, it is an arrangement or ordering of a number of distinct objects. For example, P-O-T and T-O-P are two permutations of the letters P-O-T. You are also correct, Martian, that we have that five rules. Now, just a brief recall. We have the rule number one. So when finding the number of ways to arrange or order n times that is repeated r times, we solve for n raised to r. Now, rule number two, when finding the number of ways to arrange or order n non-repeating items, we solve for n factorial. Rule number three, when arranging the number of ways to arrange or order r times from n options, we evaluate the n factorial over n minus r factorial. So this is what we call the n taken r at a time. Rule number four. The rule number four is the distinguishable permutation. So the number of distinguishable permutations, p of n objects where p objects are alike, q objects are alike, r objects are alike, and so on, is n factorial over p factorial, q factorial, r factorial, and so on. Okay, so we in solving permutation, it is important that the objects are distinct. Okay, now let's proceed to rule number five, which is the circular permutation. So the number of ways to arrange n distinct objects along a fixed circle is n minus 1 factorial. So we are done illustrating the circular permutation last meeting. Now, let's proceed to our learning goals. So number one, you're going to determine the different formulas to be used in the given problems. Number two, you have to relate effectively the permutation into real-life situation. And number three, we're going to solve problems using the different rules of permutation, okay? But before we start, let's have our activity. Are you excited? Okay, so now, this activity is titled, Help My Friends. So what are you going to do is to help my friends to solve their problems. How? By determining which rule or formulas to be used in solving their problems. Okay? So, let's have my friend Joshua. So, sabi ni Joshua, Hello guys! I secured my phone using the combination lock, but later, I realized that I forgot the four-digit code. I only remember that the code contains the digit 1, 3, 4, 7. Can you help me list all the possible codes so that I can unlock my phone? Okay, with Joshua's problem, what rule are we going to use to solve his problem? Okay, yes, Rogel. Okay, we will use rule number two because uh, there are only four objects and there are four options. Okay, so we will use the N factorial. So, solving Joshua's problem, well, how many ways uh, can he 
solve uh, can, what how many ways or how many possible codes are there okay yes angela okay so there are 24 possible codes okay so how did you get it okay so we use the rule number two okay now uh please show to me all the possible codes that that 24 possible codes okay yes laleb okay so there are oh, okay that is the 24 possible codes okay we, we start with one three four seven and we ended up with seven four three one Okay, now let's call my second friend, Julia. Hi, I forgot my Instagram password. I remember that it contains A and 9. And a five-digit code has to, be has to be made from it. I also remember that the code can repeat. Help me to list down all the possible codes. Okay, with Julia's problem, what rule or formula are we going to use to help her list all the possible codes? Okay, yes, Ivan. Okay, we will be using rule number one. That is correct. Why? Why we need to use rule number one? Okay, because uh, repetition is allowed. So we will use rule number one. So what now is the answer? How many possible codes are there? Okay, yes, Mike? Okay, there are 32 possible codes. Okay, so if we're going to, uh, to illustrate, okay, the answer, we have this one. So using the fundamental counting principle, in the first digit, we have two options, like A and 9. And since this is still, this is, uh, we can repeat it, in the second digit, we still have two choices a and nine in the third digit there are still two two choices fourth digit there are still two choices fifth digit we still have two choices so we have two times two times two times two times two or just two raised to five so which is equal to 32 possible codes okay now please show to me all the 32 possible codes okay yes lisa Okay, so we have from A A A A two nine 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 nine. So there are thirty two possible codes. Okay, now let's have my next friend Gerald. Okay, Gerald. Hello, class. I just want to know if how many ways can me, my mom, my dad be seated around a circular table? Okay, with Gerald's problem. What rule or formula are we going to use? Okay, yes, Erica. Okay, that's right. We will use rule number five because of the word circular. Okay, so we will use the circular permutation. Okay, so since we all know that we will be using rule number five, so how many ways can he, his mom, his dad be seated around the circular table? Okay, yes, Jian. Okay, so there are two possible ways. Okay, that is correct. So if we're going to illustrate his answer, there are only two circular table. We have the 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2 as one, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3 as another one. Okay, so we only have two ways, okay, because it's a circular table. Okay, now let's, let's call my next friend. Kim, okay, according to Kim, let's have Kim, okay. Hello, everyone. I just want to know the number of permutations of the letters of the word Philippines. Okay, with Kim's problem, what rule are we going to use? Okay, yes, John. Okay, we will use rule number four. Okay, so because we all know that in solving permutation, it should be distinct, okay? So here, Philippines has three, uh, three letter P's. I has three letter I. So we can, we have here, okay? 
So since Philippines has 11 letters, so we will be having 11 factorials. But since we have uh, P are alike and I are alike, so we will have in the denominator, we have 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So in total of 1,108,800. Okay, so that's right. Okay, now let's proceed to my next friend, Bea. Ma'am Bea. So according to Ma'am Bea, go Ma'am Bea. Hello class, there will be a writing contest today. I just want to know how many ways can the first, second, and third place be awarded to 10 people who joined? Okay, so with Ma'am Bea's uh, problem, what rule are we going to use? Okay, so let's have Zar. Okay, we will use rule number three. Okay, why? Okay, that's right. So we will use rule number three because there are three of op uh, ten options and we all, we have three objects: the first place, second place, and third places. Okay, so this is just ten taken three at a time. So as you can see, we have here three medals: a gold, a first place. A, a silver for second place and bronze for the third place. So how many options are there in the first place? So we only have 10, we have 10 options because there are 10 people. Okay? However, in the second place, if we have, uh, we, if we have first place, that means in the second place, we only have the 9 options. And in the third place, we only have 8 options. So that means... In mathematically, we have 10 times 9 times 8. Okay? So, for non-repeating items, we all know that it is non and it is n factorial. So, if we're going to use the, the 4 factorial notation, we have this one. 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial, which is equal to 720. Okay, now, how was the activity? Okay, yes, Rex? Okay, so that's nice. So it's very important that we need to understand first the problem, okay? And next, we have to devise a plan by determining which rules of permutation are we going to use, okay? Now, what is now the importance of permutation? Okay, yes, Alicia. Okay, very good. Permutations are important when we want to know the number of arrangement of an object. Permutations are also used by combo lock designers. These people design the locks that are used for gates, bikes, and lockers. They use permutations to assign combos that haven't been used previously, are the only combination that opens a lock and cannot be cracked. Talking about privacy, we need to make sure that our codes and passwords are long and strong enough not to be unlocked by other people for our own safety. Let's now have our group activity. So this time, you will be divided into four groups, and each group has one representative from each item. So everyone is also required to answer all of the items because this will serve as your seat work. Okay, if you got the correct answer, you will receive one point. Okay, so now let's start with our group activity. So let's start with item number one. So in how many ways can seven people arrange themselves in a row for picture taking? Okay, go. So I think everyone got the correct answer. So the correct answer is, okay, that is 5,040. Okay, so how did you get your answer? Uh, let's ask. Um, Renato. Okay, so you, uh, you, you follow the rule of rule number two. Okay, that is n factorial. So since there are seven people, so we will be using seven factorial, which is equal to five thousand forty. Okay, that is correct. Okay, now let's proceed to item number two. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this time. Uh, uh, I will give this as a uh, challenging question because uh, there are restrictions or conditions. Okay, so let's have number two. 
In how many ways can five boys and four girls be arranged on a bench if boys and girls are alternate? Okay, go. Okay, I think group four got the correct answer. Okay, let's ask Opai to answer, I uh, to show her answer. Okay? So your answer is 2,880. Okay, why 2,880? Okay, that's right. So according to Opai, so this is just this is the solution. So we have boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. So in the first slot we have the boy. Next one is girl. So we have four options, and and then. In the next slot, in the next seat, we have four options or four choices for the boy. And then three options or three choices for the girls. Next one is three choices for the boys. Next is two for the girls. Next is two for the boy. One and one. So this is just the same with the solution of five factorial times four factorial or you can also uh, put in your into your calculator 5p5 times 4p4. Okay, so since this is alternately, so that is the illustration of the answer. Okay, so we have 2,880. Okay, any questions? Did you get it? Okay, that's it. Okay, now let's proceed to item number three. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this is the question number three. Okay, so this is the same, same situation. However, the condition is boys and girls are in separate groups. Okay, so you have to imagine we have the boys are grouped together and girls are grouped together. So if there are five boys and four girls, so, how many ways can you arrange this one on a bed? Okay, go. Okay, I think group 1 and group 4 got the correct answer. The correct answer is, okay, the correct answer is 5,760. Okay, so you got it right. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's ask um, from group 1. Okay, let's ask Bernadette. Okay, Bernadette, what, uh, show your solution. Okay, okay, that's right. So, since we have um, five boys, so we have five factorial in this side, okay, in the left side. And in the right side, we have girls, so four factorials, okay. However, we can also uh, ar arrange this like the, in the first seat on the left side, we can also put there the girls. And in the second side, or in the right side, you can also put there the boys. So this is just the same with 5 factorial times 4 factorial plus 4 factorial times 5 factorial. So this is just the same with 5 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 or 2 the factorial. Okay, so any of that solution. Okay, so the answer should be 5,760. Okay, did you get it? Any clarification or questions? Okay, so you got it. Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's proceed to item number four. Okay, so again, we have a uh, same situation. Oh no, so uh, we have a different question. Na pala. Okay, so let's, let's have number four. How many different car number plates are possible with three letters follow by, followed by three digits. Again, it's a, a plate number where in your first three let your first uh, digit or code is three letters followed by three digits. Okay, so how do how do you answer this problem? What rules are you going to use? Okay, so go. Okay. Okay, I think group two and group one got the correct answer. Okay, let's ask. 
Let's ask Sheena. What is Sheena? Okay, what is I what is your answer? And show your solution. Okay, your answer is Oh, that is seventeen million five hundred hundred seventy six thousand. Okay, why? Right, so we have twenty six letters in the alphabet and there are also 10 digits we start from zero okay zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are 10 digits so in the first uh, options okay we have in the first uh seat or first lot we have 26 choices because there are 26 letters okay since uh in the in the number of card number plates it is possible that the letters can repeat right it is possible that the number, uh, the car number plates can are can repeat. Okay, so we have twenty six, and in the six and the next slot, we have twenty six options. Paren. Okay, so in the third option, in the in third slot, I mean, we have twenty six choices. Okay, so twenty six times twenty six times twenty six. Okay, times since there are ten digits, so we have ten, and we can still the, the number can still repeat itself. So we have 10 times 10 times 10. So again, this is just equal to 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is equal to 17,576,000. Okay, you got it right, Sheena. So another point for group 1 and group 2. Okay, now let's proceed to number 5. Okay? Okay, so... In number F5, we still have the same uh, questions but different uh, conditions. So, so we have here, we have five boys again and four girls arranged on a bench. However, there are two uh, persons, Anna and James, who wish to stay together. Okay, they want to stay together. So how are you going to arrange uh, this? Uh, how many ways are can you arrange this on the bench? Okay. So, go. Okay. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is 80,640. So, group 3 and group 4 got the correct answer. Let's ask Jello to, uh, to show his solution. Okay, that's right. So, since we have AJ, they, all, they want to... Oh, to stay together so we will put here aj okay times the remaining okay so aj can be considered as one okay so we have eight factorial however aj okay aj can still be rearranged to ja so we have two factorial okay so the solution uh, the answer is two times eight factorial or two times eight P8. Okay, you get it? Okay, that's the answer. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's proceed to item number six. Okay, how many ways can a student answer a 10 item multiple choice test with the options A, B, C, and D? So, how many ways can you answer these questions, this multiple choice test? Okay, go. Okay. Okay, all of you got the correct answer. Okay, let's ask um, Robert. Okay, Robert, how did you get your answer? Okay, that's right. You answer. Uh, you used the rule number one. Okay, since uh, there is possibility that you can repeat your answer in this item, so you will use the rule number one repetition is allowed okay so we have a uh, 10 raised to uh, uh it's 4 raised to 10 okay so it's 4 raised to 10 okay so the answer is 1,048,576 okay that's right okay now let's proceed to item number seven in how many ways can a president a treasurer and a secretary be chosen from among seven candidates. Okay, go. Okay. 
time is up. The correct answer is 210. Okay, so this is the solution. Again, we have 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial. So this is the same with our example earlier with Mambeya, right? So we have uh, seven op we have seven options and we only have three objects, okay, or the three positions, okay. So we only have two hundred ten ways, okay. All of you got the correct answer. Now let's proceed to the second to the last question, okay. Let's have this one. In how many ways can seven children join hands to form a ring? Okay, go. Okay, time is up. Okay, all of you got the correct answer. Okay, Zachary. Okay, show your answer. Okay, so you use rule number five or the circular permutation, right? Because ring is a circle. So to form uh, that ring, you will use that uh, formula. So the answer is seven minus one factorial or just 6 factorial, which is equal to 720 weights. Okay, that's right, Zachary. Okay, now let's proceed to our last item. Okay, so let's have the last item. Find the number of permutations of the letters of the word Mississippi. Okay, go. So this is very easy, right? Okay, so this is, uh, let's ask Nathan. Okay, Nathan, you, we use rule number four or the distinguishable permutation. Okay, that's right. So we have four letter S, we have four letter I, and there are two letter P. So this is our solution. Okay, 11 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial, which is equal to 34,650. Okay, we are done with our activity. Okay, the the group who got the correct, who got the highest number of points is the group four. Okay, congratulations, group four. Any questions or clarifications? If there are no questions, and since most of you got good scores in our activity, we will now proceed to our quiz. I will be posting your quiz and even your assignment in our Google Classroom. Remember, we will check your assignment tomorrow. Since there are no more questions, thank you for joining me. Goodbye.